So, I just debated Tory MP Jake Berry about the new report that just came out showing that by 2035 we'd have lost £311 billion because of Brexit. Now, because he knows exactly what he's done and that I would expose him for it, he tried to interrupt me at every single opportunity, making parts of it borderline unwatchable. So I'm going to show you the important bits. As for what the significance of that is for us right now, not much. We already know that Brexit is making us poor. We've already seen every economic, uh, every industry in the UK economy say that it's making us poor. If you look at Small Business Federation, the Food and Drink Federation, the National Federation of Fishermen's Associations, every sector of the UK economy saying it's making life harder for people during one of the worst times of our lives. And so the question is really, are we going to make it better? Are we going to change things? Now I chose my argument carefully and you'll see why, because here's how he tries to argue against me. Do you think it's likely that the UK economy would have grown by 7% this year, given that no, no other economy in Europe is actually growing by anywhere near that, if we hadn't have left the European Union? Do you think this report says Britain would have grown by 7%? Almost there would have been a, a European force field drawn around the British economy, sheltering it from all of the global headwinds, and we would have grown by 7%. See, I'm not sure I believe that. Can we just take a second to think about the irony of how one of the politicians who delivered Brexit, based on the idea that the UK was economically superior to European countries, is now making fun of the idea that we could do better than them? You see, this is why in my opening comments, I tried to avoid focusing on exactly how much better the report said we'd be doing if not for Brexit, because I knew that would be his response. So I said, this is the problem with the Brexit debate that we have. Somebody will say Brexit has done X amount of damage, and then, then somebody on your side will say, no, it has done less damage than that. In 2016, nobody voted Brexit on the basis of, oh, I only want to make my life this much worse. Yeah. No, everybody in 2016 voted to make their the lives better, not worse. If you can't, the argument of, oh, but you said it'd be this much worse is irrelevant. Right now, people are struggling to feed their kids. People are skipping meals to keep their children fed. I mean, you've got to remember, the Brexit referendum was six years into austerity. People were starving. Nobody wanted to be poor. That's why Boris Johnson's promise of 350 million pounds a week more for the UK was so appealing. And Jake Berry's response to that was... Uh, first of all, people would never vote for a Labour government because every Labour government has left them poor. As I didn't respond to that at the time because I didn't realise he was saying something so stupid. His argument there is, because people sometimes vote for Labour, that must mean people sometimes do intentionally vote to be poor. But if that's his defense for Brexit, that's him admitting that he has made people poor. But he still tries to focus on the idea that the report's figures are too big to be believed in order to deny what he's done. The only prediction I can make about the OBR is that every single prediction they make will be wrong. You, you and I both studied law. These are econo economists. So yeah. as far as who's better to but judge by judges... They're their figures, not yeah, mine. Yeah, exa exactly. And so in terms of whether or not you want to question those, I would ask an economist to question those rather than one of, one of us two. We already know it's making things worse. Is it making it 6% no, worse? No, 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 we don't know that. We don't, that's my point. We don't know that. Are, are you saying we don't know that Brexit is making life harder in the UK? You are a member of the leading party yeah. of this a party of government. Your economic experts, the Office of Budget yeah. Responsibility, is saying that Brexit is costing our economy roughly 4% by, um, by 2025. Well, no, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Yeah, but... Is it 4%? Is it well, 6%? Look, I mean, the first thing you see, the problem with this constant denial of experts is that's all they've got to go on. They're not economists. So either they're following their experts or they're just fucking guessing. Economic predictions aren't always going to be accurate because there are a thousand different decisions that can be made before those predictions come true. The point of those expert predictions is to guide politicians so that they know what will help or harm the country. So whether Brexit will have cost us 300 billion by 2035 or 100 billion, it's still harming us. So any politician that sticks with Brexit is deliberately harming us. And when I tried to provide the evidence that every sector of our economy and infrastructure is saying that Brexit has already hurt us, my question here is, is it has Brexit damaged us? The national, in my view, the, 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 no. the, the National Federation of Fishing, Fishermen's Association says it's costing three hundred million pounds. The, the Nuffield Trust says that it's damaged our NHS Sadly, during the pandemic. We've come to the end of the show. Thank you for tuning in. But I want to go back to my favourite bit of this. It was when he decided to actually answer one of my questions. Because you did ask me a few questions. Let me go go answer them. It's not the way it usually works. But let me have a go. Because you might be thinking, why is a member of Parliament from the party that is of the ruling government? hosting a TV show, such that when I ask him questions to hold him to account, he says, it's not the way it usually works, but let me have a go. Like, hello, journalist, politician. And that was the problem with the whole debate. It should never have been him attacking me on whether or not Brexit would be as damaging to the UK as the report said. It should have been me asking him, hey, why is Brexit doing damage to our country at all? But apparently government news channels is something we do in this country right now. I'm Femi, make sure you follow F Politics, a politics doesn't F you. Have a great week.